Uh, and the company does a great job, according to the observer of keeping the crowd hot because they have it announced to the live fans, the loudest fans will get to go backstage and meet the wrestlers. What a great idea that is, Jeff, who deserves the credit for that? Shout out Jeremy Borash. Shout out JB. It, but it was, um, it was crowd engagement. People loved it and we would grab two or three in between each matches or maybe more than that. Um, and guys that already worked or who might not be working on the show or whatever it may be, grab them and take them backstage and they get to say a hello. And you know, people in the arena go, okay, they just got picked. <laughs> They're going the way, it is the most awkward thing of all time. Uh, I was, uh, I, I've been advertising here in Huntsville in my local market for a long time, my mortgage company. And I was a lapsed fan. I wasn't watching wrestling at the time, but I found myself, uh, out of one of my favorite watering holes downtown, enjoying some adult beverages on a day where impact was running at the VBC. I've never told you the story. Oh boy. And, and my market rep, uh, for the TV station does a pop by and sees me and some of my, my friends who, uh, uh, that we work with in the mortgage biz and they were not wrestling fans, but he said, Hey, do you want to go and meet the wrestlers? And I'm like, no, nah, I'm good. And my other friends say, well, hang on. Is this WWE? And of course he says, no, it's, and so he's trying to explain. So they Google it. So they pull up the roster page and you guys back in the day had all the knockouts featured very prominently on the website. So my buddies who may or may not have had half a dozen whiskeys in them by this point say, Hell yeah, we want to go meet them. And I'm like, oh, guys, this isn't going to be what you think it is. I don't want to do this. I love this. <laughs> the TV rep talks us into walking over because it's walking distance yeah. downtown. So we walk over, and the whole time I'm like, what are we doing? This yeah. is. And so we get there. You want they... to get that seafood tower at Morton's? I'm like, I don't care. What are we doing? And so we get backstage, and we're waiting. And there's a curtain, and this by the steps. And out pops Abyss and AJ Styles. <laughs> and my buddies are like, uh, <laughs> where, where, are, where are the, where are the women, where are the ladies? I had, and now I'm in a spot where I'm like, Hey y'all. <laughs> Cause here's the thing, like being backstage seems if you've never been there it's like ooh, it's the velvet rope you get to do it. it's like you're kind of in the way and these guys are trying to work they're trying to and then some asshole comes and tells them hey the local tv rep needs you to come say hello to some advertisers they don't want to do this but they are oblig they feel an obligation and they might have even put up a, a bit of a fight they slide their goofy mask on and they're like okay here we go what are we doing and so then they go out there and there's just me and two dudes. <laughs> hey y'all, what are we going to do? And so the whole way back, as we're walking back to the bar, my friends are like, you were right. That was a waste of time. I was like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. What did you think was going to happen? And then I was like, even if it was the ladies, what'd you think was going to happen? You're going to hit them with some lame shit. They never heard before. And they're going to uproot their lives and move to hunts. What are we doing? Let's go back and drink. Let's have a good time. Oh, well, Conrad, I don't think I have to tell you that was funny. I don't have to tell you, like, I, I think, but to our listeners, it is designed to take little kids backstage. I know. I'm like, this is not for us. We're 30. We're not supposed to be here. These are little <laughs> kids who want pictures and autographs. We want none of that. Why are we here? And so now I'm just standing there looking at Abyss and AJ Styles, who are two fantastic Lord have mercy. But I'm in a hallway in an arena. And Abyss is sweating. And AJ yeah. is sweating. <laughs> hey, y'all. And so I think AJ's like, he senses how awkward this is. And he's like, what are y'all up to? He's like, we've been drinking. He goes, Clearly. And I'm like, well, it was good to see y'all. And then as we start walking back, oh my God. TV guy goes, aren't they nice? They're just real guys. And I'm like, he has no idea that I know all of this. I, I get it, buddy. I was enjoying whiskey a few minutes ago and now <laughs> I'm waving at abyss. And if I could get in a time capsule in 15 years and say, one day I'm going to bust your balls on a podcast, he'd say, what's a podcast? And I'd say, what's the Rick boobs? We'd both be confused. 